Hey YouTubers, welcome back. This is my plasma cutter project. Um, I made a computer cart here, as you can see. I made a keyboard mount. I need to make a, um, a mount for the mouse as well, too. And here's the cart that I made out of scrap. I found a stainless top. My mother used to own an ice cream store. And we had some stainless laying around. Yeah, the computer will sit beside down there. Here's where the um, CN, CNC hub is going to go. What I did for the monitor in the back is I took uh, a monitor mount from a company called monoprice.com, which was a desk mount, and I adapted to the post that I welded on to the side of the cart here. As you can see, it's got support down there as well. There's the PDFs for the installation of the controller. 124 pages long. You really got to read every page. It's very, very confusing. I haven't even attempted to load the software yet because I want to get the motors to be able to run first and be ready with electrical. So here's a table. I did fabricate a water tray. Here's a frame for the water tray. It's 3 by 3 angle. It's fully welded. I TIG welded the corners and it warped like crazy. As you can see, it doesn't even lay flat. I gotta do some adjustments there. Then I need to weld the sheet metal inside of the water tray and put the slats in. Here's what I've been working on over here. This is the box that's gonna house the controller. I temporarily mounted it onto the table. What it is, it was a drawer for a bolt bin setup. So I cut a hole in it to get, and I put a little latch on, uh, lock on it. I cut a hole in it to get to the buttons into the that you need to get to the controller. I also made some breathing holes in the bottom where the controller breathing holes are, where the, there's a fan, and on the top as well. There's I put some holes in the box. Um, there's going to be this is going to be the door that slides down to protect the controller as much as possible. I just don't like the controller sitting out in the open like it is. And what I did is I made a tube. I welded a tube onto the table. And this tube has a curve to it as it goes up. Uh, it's going to uh, house the main wire harness for the 220. It's going to come down from the ceiling, from a box in the ceiling. It's going to be supported by a piece of uh, angle that's cross beam to my beams up up in the ceiling so it should hang fine. It's going to be flexible so I'll be able to move the table around just a little bit. But all in all this this box took me a long time because again it was a drawer assembly. I had to make brackets for the back. As you can see here I made bracketry here and here and these holes uh, here here and two on the other side is where the controller mounts it's on the inside of the box here. It's kind of dark. You really can't see it. But the control will mount in here. I have already mocked it up. It works good. And then the main wire harness will run down to this post here and exit out of here. And I'm going to put another breaker set up on the table as well. And there's going to be a plug. A lot of plugs probably, probably right around there. Uh, that's where I'm going to plug my plasma cutter in. I'm going to also cover the plasma cutter with some with a piece of sheet, bent over sheet metal, and inside that I'll also have the a few sensors. I think the height sensor is in there and the voltage sensor. It's going to be right next to the plasma cutter. I'll put it in a, some sort of plastic box. There's my Power Max 85. Haven't used it yet. Here's my machine torch. Um, you have to disassemble and assemble these things like four or five times. Here are the motors that I got from cncnc.com. What you guys, if you're building a 4x8 table, make sure you click on the other options for the length of wiring. I did not because it's on a different page. The site's a little confusing. And my wires are too short to get to this box here. So I have to actually I cut the pigtail off of this motor. Here's the motor inside there. And I have to lengthen the wires. It's basically alarm wire from Home Depot. You can get it online. Um, I need to get probably over 100 feet of wire because I got to rewire all these. 
they're just too short. Plus I'm going to be running the track system that's going to reside right along here. I'm going to get that track system from McMaster Car. Um, once I get more to the point where I have the motors mounted and everything, I'll order the tracking. I, I think in a previous video I showed the trays that I, I acquired. Here's the, here's the, the X tray, the X axis tray that's going to house a wire. Um, I have my stop set already here. Again, I have not done any full welds to um, the Y axis yet because I'm mocking everything up and getting it all um, aligned with the water table itself to make sure I'm within, within specs on that. So all in all, it's coming along pretty good. Hope to be maybe powering everything up and cutting something maybe by Christmas time. This just takes a lot of work, a lot of peripherals you got to think about, a lot of other stuff that you know you don't think about to you run along, to you come along, and then you got to fabricate something because nobody makes it, so you got to make it. So again, that's what I did with this box. Nobody made a box for the controller box. If you can find one, a computer box somewhere, that's great. People have found computer carts online as well. I didn't. I had scrap material. Um, I had some expanded metal. I may encase this and put some sort of filter system in it, but not yet. I, I'm got to cut my. I'll cut that out on the plasma cutter.